Welcome to the Cheapskate Show, where I show you common sense frugal living. Here, I will show you how to get the things you need without spending all of your resources to get it. In fact, I'd like for you to spend as little as possible, if any at all, to get it. Here today, I'm going to talk to you about education. Education is a valuable thing if you use it as a tool. A lot of people identify with their education where they seem to think that if they know how to do a certain thing that they are overall intelligent. You know, you can teach a dog tricks but that doesn't make him necessarily intelligent. Education is a tool to be used to promote your program in life, to get the things you want to survive. Of course, when you go to schools, especially some of these higher institutions of learning, as they call themselves, they go all off into the pie and sky philosophy Oh, we're going so that I can and can 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 learn how to understand the rest of the world. You know, let's be real. Very few, if any, people do that in these day and times. If you're going to go to college and bear and bear the expense of going to school, you want to get paid, plain and simple. And even more, you want somebody to pay for that education if you possibly can because Uncle Sam will give you a loan a student loan but you have to pay that sucker back when you get out of school and this loan cannot be discharged through bankruptcy or any other kind of way in other words it has to be paid back if you die Uncle Sam will come dig you up and <laughs> demand payment for that student loan. This is how serious it is. And people have accumulated massive amounts of student loan going to school to learn how the butterflies relate to the odes of spring and all that crap. Okay. Besides getting on a rant about situations like that, student loans are a good thing if you use them smartly and you don't get too overextended and you can't pay them back. That's when hell starts. Of course, they also have forgiveness programs. If you happen to get a student loan in a field where they need people and you go to a location where they need people, lots of companies and institutes will forgive your student loan or will pay it back. This happens to be the case if you happen to want to be a teacher. God love you if you want to be one and you go to teach in a rural area, the money that you spent to become certified as a teacher will be forgiven to you if you happen to get in the right school system. Sometimes private schools will also do this. Education can be a wonderful tool and it can be had very inexpensively if you're smart about how to do it and if you pick a field which you also like but also has a practical application so that you can make money. Of course, don't go into something where you're going into it just for the money. You won't be any good in it at all. And you might do more harm in the field than good and you'll get fired and then you'll be back at square one and not knowing how to do squat. So the best thing to do is to find something that you like and find something that pays. And then go to Uncle Sam and get the student loan help. Or... If you happen to be fortunate and live in a state that has a lottery for educational benefit, take advantage of that. Take advantage of it. Once again, I'll refer to the state of Georgia. In Georgia, they have the Hope Scholarship, where if you maintain a certain grade point average, they will take a significant portion of your college tuition and pay for it if you go to a state school. This is also good for you folks who want to go to technical school. This worked wonderfully for me. 
I have obtained a commercial driver's license where I used to drive a truck. And I also uh, I obtained a air conditioning technician certification where I can fix residential air conditioning. All courtesy of the Hope Scholarship. Wonderful tool that you can have. Also, you can go get and fill out a FAFSA form. This is the federal student aid, and you don't have to pay this back. And it's a good check for you because it takes care of the things that the Hope Scholarship didn't. And I'm quite sure there's a similar hookup in your state for it if you have a state that has a lottery. Of course, if you live in a stuck in the mud state that ain't got one, hey, I'm sorry. I can't do nothing for you on that. But one thing I can do for you is turn you on to another app that is excellent for helping you get the money you need for education so that you can enhance your knowledge and make a living or if you want to be able to play the lute and dance in the field with the butterflies you know it's up to you how you spend the money but these are fellowships grants scholarships and things of that nature where you I don't care what your major is or what your academic condition is which mean when I, I'm trying to be polite in that, whether you're a good student or whether you suck, you can find some money to go to school to learn something so you can do something. And you need to learn something to do something. Because if you don't know, you can't know and you can't do. All you can do is sit around and look like Ned the First and go, duh, and that's not going to work. You have to do something in life. You just can't go live in mom and daddy's basement forever. That ain't going to work. You have to be independent. In this app, if you have an Android phone, if you go to the Google Play Store, and it costs, it costs a couple of dollars. Now, mark this on your calendar. I am advocating that you spend some money. This is just a few bucks. Very few bucks. And once again, I don't get any residuals or anything from this. This is to help you. This is an Android app that has almost every possible conceivable scholarship and fellowship grant out there. And you can find something that will benefit you and put money in your pocket so you can go to school. The app is called Scholly. Of course, to spell it is S-C-H-O-L-L-Y. Once again, it's S-C-H-O-L-L-Y. It's a wonderful app that I heard uh I heard of this app on television. There's uh a TV show called The Shark Tank and the originator of this app came on and he explained what the app was and he talked a good game. And he really had to talk a good game to persuade me to go to the Play Store and consider buying the app. But I went and shelled out a couple of dollars on my handy dandy debit card. And I'll show you about how to have a debit card so you won't get in credit card debt and go to credit card hell like I did years ago. But anyway, that's beside the point. I went ahead and forked out my few bucks for the app. I forget what it was. It was two, three, four, maybe five bucks. I think it, it was cheap though. It was cheaper than buying a burger meal at a, at, at, you know, at a burger joint. And, uh, the app had all sorts of things. I plugged in my information and I had pages upon pages of, 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 of grants where people wanted to give me money to go to school. No strings. No payback. It was a great app. And if you need money to go to school, and school is expensive, and if you don't live in a lottery state, or if you have a real suck GPA, or... <laughs> Any number of things that prohibit you from getting money to go to school, buy this app. You will be able to get money to go to school and get the job done so that you can get additional money so that you can get out of working at the burger joint and get into a good sit-down job where you can make money and pay your bills and get your old lady or old man out of your butt about not having enough money. Or having people look down at you like you're low class. You know how this society is here. 
people are real funny about money. If you got money, everybody wants to be your friend and everybody wants to affiliate with you. If you don't have any money, nobody wants to be around you. Nobody don't know you, even though people in your own family don't want to know you because they figure you're a deadbeat. And you're not a deadbeat. Sometimes you're just a victim of circumstance. And bad circumstances occur to all of it, all of us. But just because you're in a bad circumstance today, doesn't guarantee that you're going to be in a bad circumstance forever. Just like a lot of those people out there who are, everything is going wonderful for me. Today, tomorrow, their life might be in the toilet. You got to look at this. All things are subject to change. And if things are going badly for you now, tomorrow, things can go wonderfully for you. If you have the correct information Take the, uh, take the correct steps and have the guts to put it into action. And this is what this show is about. To give you the tools that you need so that you can do what you got to do to get your program in order. And that's the way it is. Now, remember the app. Hopefully, it will be beneficial to you. If it has been beneficial or if this information has been beneficial and basically if it's going to help you get in school, press like and share for this video because A, don't listen to any of those gnarly old bag teachers that you had when you were in elementary and high school when they were talking about you got to have good grades to get a scholarship. That's crap. No, you don't. These are different times. They have people that will give you a scholarship if your birthday happens to fit in a certain month. They'll give you a scholarship if your parents happen to have graduated from a certain school at a certain month. You'll get a scholarship if you happen to be a certain name or, or, or do a certain thing. Try it. It doesn't cost anything to try to ask these people for money. You know, the most challenge is going to be first one on the spot because first one on the spot gets the money. Go to Scholarly, download the app, put in your information, see what kind of money you can get and there will be some. If your state has a lottery, go sign up for the uh, ben educational benefit program if they have one similar to the state of Georgia. Google the Georgia Hope Scholarship Program and see what it's like and also Google for similar programs to the Hope Scholarship Program in different states. There are several out there which I won't go into. You need to do something for yourself. Google it and see. The world is at your fingertips by the computer. When I was going to school, we had to go to the library. We didn't have anything as sophisticated as the World Wide Web. We had to actually work for it and use something called the card catalog. You know, you go to the library now, you don't even see those things in there. But anyway, <laughs> go look up the situation, get you some money. Go apply for federal student aid to supplement the money that you that you uh, are trying to get to go to school. Let's say going to school is an intensive process. Sometimes you need money to live. You know, if, if you're working now and you need to go to school and go to school full time and not have to go out and sling hash while you're going to school when you could be using valuable time to study and get your work done so you can improve your lot in life instead of going and making some fat cat rich somewhere slinging his burgers and his fries. You know, get a student loan to help tide you over while you go to school. Something simple, something easy so you can pay it back. Now, don't do like some people out there have done and go get a student loan to go buy a car and go buy vacations and live high on the hog because after a while you turn around, you don't spend two, three hundred thousand dollars. And that's a real bitch to pay back, especially when you are in a little flowery major and you cannot get employed anywhere except for a place that's paying a low paying job. Use some common sense. How in the hell are you going to pay back? Two and three hundred thousand dollars working a job that's just a little bit over minimum wage ain't gonna happen no way around. But enough of my ranting. Go buy the app. Go buy Scholarly. Remember, it's spelled S C 
H O L L Y. A really good guy wrote it. I don't even know him. He talked a good game on the Shark Tank. His app is on point. It shows some good stuff. It showed even me I can get money. And I was no great student in school. I graduated, but I wasn't one of these top 1%, whatever you kind of call it, folks. I was academically lucky. <laughs> anyway, if you think this video benefit from you, helped you to benefit in hopefully meeting your educational objectives, please like and share the video. And once again, please copy the URL at the top of the web page, that HTTP colon double slash, and the gobbledygook behind it. Highlight it, copy it, and paste it to your Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, any of those social media sites. Post a message and say, hey, I found a way to get some money from school and I don't have to pay it back. Post this, share this. Your friends will love you. Go ahead and do this. That will help them out. It will help you out. And that will help them send them back to me here where they can listen to me rave and rant about it and give them some valuable information on how to go about doing what they got to do to get their job done. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for other helpful things to hopefully enhance your life and help you promote the things you want to do in that life. See you next time.